Hi guys. Hi. Hello. Okay, so today we have a challenge for you. You will be served two of the same dishes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you will have to tell us which you think will garner a longer queue. So who is from Hawker Stalls? Huh? Okay, okay, cool. Nice, nice. I think it should be quite easy, lah, right? The nicer one will just have yeah, a longer queue. Shit for what? Are you oh. sure this is even a challenge? Sounds like it's not a challenge. I think it should be quite easy. Are you ready? Yes! yes. <laughs> ah. Hey, where are we? Okay, okay, okay. So, so chicken rice, I'm going to assume that one of them is Hawker Chan. Because I mean, you were talking about long queues, Hawker Chan. Yeah, I mean, the fact that they long queue. Yellow. Wait. Oh, all right. Wow, it smells damn fragrant. La. I quite like the smell of soy sauce chicken rice. First thing that I realized from this chicken rice, right, uh. is that I cannot smell the. You know, the chicken rice always got this like fragrance. This chicken rice don't really have that. Really, man? I feel like I have it. No, is it the rice? Uh. Yeah, the rice don't have that. No, no, but like, I think. Okay, I'm not too sure, but I appreciate sure, like soy sauce chicken rice, like, they usually uh. use normal rice, right, I think. Really? Wow, what a veggie one. Mm. I got the nice part, aka the part with the skin. The okay. part that I ate was just the breast. I feel like the yogurt from the yogurt tea. Has it really like soaked into this meat? Yes, yeah, it's like dry, right? Yeah, to I me it's a bit dry. That. The few times only that I ate Hawker Chan before, the flavor from the UT is like just way more than what I'm having now. Shall we try yeah. the rice? Yes. Shit, I, I lost my spoon. Mm. I got no complaints about the rice. I think it's quite standard. Quite standard, yeah. <laughs> I take back what I said earlier. What? That is, uh, there's no much smell, like no much uh, flavor from the rice. The sauce makes it quite... I think it's quite flavorful, right, the rice. Yeah, I think the problem with this rice oh, is that not you enough. Eh. I think this is definitely not the popular one. I am not sure. Like, I am I'm pretty sure. I can't like the rice, but I'm quite meh about the chicken. I oh, think yeah. I'll need to try that one first to see whether like I can guess whether this is a uh, less popular or more popular. Okay, okay. Okay, so now we got the second store in front of us and immediately right, I can already smell the chicken rice already. And one thing to note right, is I can smell peanuts. I think I can smell the peanuts specifically, but I do agree that this one is a lot more fragrant than the previous right. one. Mmm, my god. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow, totally different from just now. So just now right, the skin is like that, then the meat is just below the skin. But now, between the skin and the meat, right, there's like a layer of fattiness. Mm. And I think fat means flavor, according to Kiara. For sure, man. To me, this one, like, the flavor is just like, it just miles higher than the previous one. Correct, eh? yeah. So this is like how I like my soy sauce and chicken to be like. Shall we move on to the rice? Oh, damn. The sauce is shook. Wow. You know, right, when you're a kid and you want to save money, you just order like, Uncle, ji fan bo yao ji. I can. Yeah, I can just eat the fan. <laughs> yeah, wow. This one, I think the sauce that they pour over it, right? The flavor is shook, like, as in, like, yeah. it's just mouth higher, like. It's in, just the, the correct flavor of soy sauce chicken, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, I think definitely the mm. second one, all right? The chicken tastes better, the sauce is better, the rice is better. So mm. I don't see how it can be the less popular one. Yeah, yeah. I, I think we both agree that the yeah. second one just tastes nicer to us. La. Yeah. So I would assume that there's a more longer queue. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm. Okay, I would assume that just because there's a Michelin star, mm. I would assume that Hoka Chan will be the second one. Yes. But yes. I don't know the, the first, first one. one. I really don't know. I'm going to guess Lee Kuan Seng chicken rice. <laughs> I'm going to guess uh, Tian Chi chicken rice. Yes. yes! Okay. But the other one is Lee Kuan Seng. Tian Chi. Maria Virgin chicken rice. Maria Virgin chicken rice. That's a very, That's interesting, a very name. interesting name. Okay, so the, the story behind it is that the owner of this store is actually the mentor of Interesting, interesting. Looks like this time the student wins the master. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's that interesting that I sorry I didn't know. And they are all in the same place. What? So we're now at Maxwell Food Center and now we'll be trying chicken rice. Oh, chicken rice again? Okay, okay, can. I think we'll definitely try the Tian Tian chicken rice because it's the famous one here.
So I think first up, right, from sitting just like that, right, I can already smell the fragrance of the chicken rice. Wow, well, I love the sesame oil smell. It's just very fragrant, lor. and that's how uh, Hainanese chicken rice should be like. Are you a white chicken or a roasted chicken person? Depends, but then most of the time I will choose uh, white chicken. I would okay. say there are only two types of people in Singapore. Mm. People that like white chicken rice mm. and losers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure I'm eating breast meat right now, but for the skin of the chicken, it's nice. Eh? It's a very light flavour. The chicken flavour really stands out all the way that they steam the chicken. This is going to be hard because I think the chicken here right, is actually very flavourful. Eh? Yeah, it's very right? nice. It's very flavourful and, like and the skin is like not too oily. Oh! I'm eating the cucumber. Okay, rice? I think it's nice. It has the ginger taste, it has the chicken chicken taste, it has like everything that a chicken rice should be. Mm. But something is lacking here. Like it lacks that umami of right, right, right. The that, right, it lacks something, right? I think it's overall it's quite a solid plate of chicken rice. Yeah. I wouldn't complain. I would definitely put this above average already. The rice I've eaten better chicken rice. Before. Yes, correct. That's the like, thing. Like a bit more savory, a, a bit more like cow in, in flavor. Yeah, correct. Like like you can taste more of the chicken essence in the mm. rice, right? Yeah. Okay, second plate. Come. Okay, I would say that this is slightly more fragrant. Wow, 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 wow. The chicken is like on another level here. It's super flavorful. Yeah. It's as if like you dip this whole chicken in the essence of chicken or something. More of like the sauce and the seasoning that they put over the chicken is significantly mm. more. I can feel like the oil feeling around my lips, like a lot mm. heavier as well. Or well, this is the reason why I like to eat chicken. Yeah. Like the, the white chicken skin is so nice. It's them soft, but yeah. then like it's a, still a bit like bouncy and slightly yeah, chewy. Correct. Wow, this rice is damn legit. I think for something that uses so few ingredients, right, they really nailed the two main ingredients of the dish. La. I'm quite scared that if this is not the famous one, right, then... Yeah. Uh, oops, I'm sorry, but this is really much better. I would say the second one. Right? Yeah, I also would say the second one. I just think that it's a better plate of chicken rice. Right? And I think that Singaporeans are smart enough to queue for the better one. Yes. So I will pick the second one to be the longer queue. Correct. So the answer is the first one. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Oh my god. I'm assuming Tian Tian is the first one. Lah. I don't know the name of the second one. How would I know? Oh, okay. This one I think I know. The second one is Tian Tian Chi. Really? Ah? Yes, there's two here. Then the name is just like by one by one Chinese word. The second one is Atai. Ah. Atai. Oh, it's not even the, the, the fake tin tin. Okay. Atai, you make a good plate of chicken rice. Yeah. You deserve more cures. I'm really quite shook eh, because when I last ate the tin tin, right, I mm. thought it's a very good plate of chicken rice already. But the second one is just one level up. So the owner of Atai is actually the master. No. <laughs> the student. The student. The husband. The brother. The husband. The brother. He worked for tin tin. Oh. So, well, before starting Atai. Oh, then come here and then set up a shop also. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow, oh, they really like thick skin. Yes, yeah, they are very tall. They're like three stores or something. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, but I guess this this time the, the student. Um, hey, wait, the student did it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, the student did it again. For us, la, but yeah. in terms of Q, the, yeah. the master is still better. Correct, correct, correct. Okay. Okay. For the first one, at least, by like, the Swiss chicken rice, I think they're always completely justified. Mm. The, the flavour from the soy sauce chicken and then the rice also mm. and the sauce la, basically I will understand why there will be a long queue for that and for the price of like 280 plus or Michelin star it, It's the right choice la, yeah, mm. yeah. For me now I think I wouldn't really judge if the food is good based on the queue true, true, true. In the past I will just join la, to be mm. honest but now I'll be a bit more sceptical about it But for the Tien one maybe because like yes, sort of like a longer history uh, Yeah true. And then like a bit more like can trust over the mm. don't know how many years they've been, they, mm. that they've been open Okay, I think Tien just got a strong branding Therefore there, there are like a lot of people queuing for it mm. But for the Atai chicken rice right mm. It's not a well-known brand Therefore like I don't think a lot of people will know about it In fact, they won't even bother trying it mm. And you know because of that you will lose out on mm. A nice plate of chicken rice. But I would say that like after doing a blind taste test, right? Mm. Don't be ashamed about the food that you like. Yes. If, if, especially if like people like, wow, they want no key one, you should yeah. try the other one, they yeah, want you don't like, buy. Mm. Don't be ashamed and just like Correct. you you try to encourage other people to go and buy. Yes, you own it. I think it depends. Mm. Like if I want a food hunt and like and, and I'm there to try specific foods. I think I will go for the one with the longer queue because I want to see what the hype is about, mm. whether it's justified and whether I think 
uh, it's worth coming back all the way to that place just to try it. Mm, right. If I'm there for the first time, right, then I'll go for the longer queue one. Because normally I like to see if it's like worth the hype. Mm. And if let's say I've tried before already, then I'll just go for the shorter queue one. Mm. Thank you for watching this episode of ebook vlogs. If you like this video, you can watch more over there. And remember to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.